everybody, it's Kill Accident Hunter here, and today we are looking at the poster. This is going to be different than our regular uh, Ruby videos, because we're not going to be playing the game. We decided that was kind of a bad idea, since we were trying to, uh, you know, like, look at the poster and stuff, and try to explain things on the poster, other things like that. So, I want to talk about a number of things here. Not all of them are going to be, like, super, like, deep or anything, but, like, let's just, let's just talk and see where the conversation goes. I think that's pretty okay. good. Also, if you were a Patreon and you're one, er, and, like, you, you got, or if you were a Patreon, you got this a week ago. And so if this seems like we're doing this really late, since this will be a couple days before the volume airs, that's because it is late. Uh, because, uh, we did, you know, become a Patreon. Get things recent. And, like, I don't know what to tell you. by the time you'll probably have watched the first episode, and then no, you'll no, look no. back on this and you'll be like, wow, they were wrong. No, it, it'll be next Wednesday, and so we may get the trailer by then, uh, but we won't... Yeah, anyway, it's fine. Uh, so, yeah, so here we have the uh, poster here in all of its glory. Uh, so, uh, I don't know where to start. I, I kind of want to start with characters first and then talk about background. So you got Ruby in the front here, you know, safe point up, uh, other safe point down. I don't know why she's holding it like that. Like I she's don't. I don't that think she weird did. Before. Yeah, I guess. Something I just want to bring up is that I mean it's not really anything in particular, but I always felt that like Ruby, like the main three, four girls, three girls, four girls, uh, looked a little weird when they were drawn compared to their animation style in the show in 3D. I think I feel that like it they look fine a little now, weird. but now Ruby looks weird. Like yeah, she Ruby's always looks face, weird. I feel like their faces look odd. I don't know. But like know. Crow, Cinder, and Raven look fine. Cinder so I don't know Raven what the fuck great. they did with her. Uh, but anyways. Something I also want to bring out the absence of is that there is no Salem, but there is Cinder and there is Raven. Well, and they seem to be in opposition to each other. I, I wanted to talk about that. Yes. So I feel like we'll get into that once we you allow it. But uh, I feel like the absence of Salem is very significant. Yes and no. Like, n there weren't any villains on the last poster, and so I don't feel like it's super important, but at the same time, we'll, we'll get to it. So I just want to start with the characters first. You have Ruby, and I think what's interesting is is that her cape is torn up, similar to Crow. We know Crow has a torn cape aesthetic before. It was whole, now it's torn up yeah, a bit. Yeah, it does. So, mm -hmm. you know, that implies a battle I don't know worn. if it's going to keep that way in the show, because yeah. I feel like that would be difficult I, to I feel like in the last, well, they do it for Crow, so fuck, how difficult. Yeah, but know? like, look at Crow's capes a little frayed, and then the, or like, even the fro, it's just a tiny bit frayed. They, they but this, no animation. That basically looks like rose petals. Like, it bleeds out into anyway, rose Anyway, I think that they... I think that, if anything, they'll reference it in the last episode or something. Like, that her cape will get caught on a grim, and then the grim will let her go, and it'll tear the cape apart. And I think that's how that will tie in. Because we see that... I don't want to say this is really an outfit change, but we saw Yang's outfit eventually got there, even if mm -hmm. we didn't understand what the fuck was going on, because she was in a ponytail and a tank top for, like, most of the episode. So there's that. Uh, so with Ruby, I don't really have anything else to say. I think her position here is kind of weird, but, like, whatever. It's fine. Um... As for other things, Weiss is kind of looking very stoic, as usual. She's headed off in kind of this here direction, uh, and then Yang is also, uh, over here, which has a- I- I think where people are positioned is very important, uh, just because if you guys see, and we'll zoom in, that may have been a little too zoomed in, there is Mistral here in the background, this Which is like... our first really good shot of Minstrel. No. We I mean, saw it at the end of the volume. Okay, one, like, yeah, but, okay, one of our few good shots. Okay, of that's what you meant. Uh, this looks like it could be a grim wing of some sort. There. I don't know what that's supposed to be, to be honest. I think there's just a bunch of faff and nonsense that they threw in that well, they weren't caring maybe. much about. It kind of looks like Blake's ribbon, but then I don't understand why it's all the way over here. Because there's still some more random lines over here, too, but I don't know what they mean. Um, yeah, because see how there's this, and then there's... That's there's just probably Blake's ribbon. This? Yeah. But then there's this, and then this. That, or it's a bunch of faff that they just throw in, okay, we don't whatever. have to care about it. So, you know, Weiss looks pretty okay. Yang is obviously... I like how they out... Uh, they added, had to, they, they had added to... just a glimmer of shine. Is that what you're talking no, about? No, no, no. I mean, like, you're the fact that she boob. has a, um... What do they call it? A boob thing. Like, a, like, the fact that, like, it looks... It has a line. You know what I mean? Like, Weiss doesn't have that... Weiss Blake doesn't has that. that. Not really. Like, see how defined like that line window. is? Like, yeah, it's window. a boob window. Ruby doesn't have it, etc. Uh, so anyway, I think that Yang and Weiss being over here by Mistral is interesting. Just because 
um, I don't know how to explain this. I thought that, here's what would happen. I thought that we'd be split between Mistral and then the White Fang. Mm -hmm. That Blake, er, yeah. sorry, that Blake and Yang would go to fight the White Fang, and then um, Ruby and Weiss would split up and go to Mistral to deal with I got, the Mistral. No, you threat. got the impression that at the end of that last episode that she was going no, to no, meet No, 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 that's not what I mean. Yang was going to I meet I mean Ruby. that... When they get together, they'll eventually have to split up again to deal with both of the threats, is Maybe. what I thought. And so it would make more sense for Yang to be on this side with Blake, in my, like, if that is what is going to happen. But now they're both on the Mistral sides, and then Raven's over here, which I want to talk about, which seems like Blake is going in a different direction from the rest of her team. Mm -hmm. And, like, that could be in a metaphorical sense, that maybe, you know, they're not seeing, like, they're seeing uh, the forest, not just the trees, sort of. Like, they're kind of... They're looking at the bigger picture that Mistral is in danger, but uh, Blake is very much focused on just the White Fang aspect of that. Mm -hmm. And so she is going in this direction I mean, while they I are going on that side. I hardly think that Weiss is quite... She's not really aware of what's going on. For what? Uh, she is not really aware of a lot of Cinder's or Salem's plan or Sindem's plan. Yeah, she, no. like, she knows even less than. Like, but about I just the think that they that want to protect Mistral. That is their I, next on their plan. I think, but Blake has a different agenda. I think you're kind of dancing around the more significant part is that they, they show what we assume is Minstrel and yeah. not Atlas and not uh, Menagerie. Yeah. So it, you get the you get the, the sense that Weiss, Yang, Ruby, they're probably convergent on Minstrel. Yeah. And I mean, Blake's going to be the is in Minstrel. Well, yeah, but I think is. that it's but but Blake's probably still yeah, going to be in Menagerie. That they're not converging on Menagerie. Really? Which I think is don't think that she's going to leave. Well, I or think she's going to stick around there. For I a don't bit know, longer? but you get the. I don't know. It's just. It's just. It's odd that no, that's I the one what you time. Mean. That... Like that's a good point. But I would just mean that this is more metaphorically than literally her being there. I just think that they have different priorities than Blake does. That Blake is kind of going in a different direction. I think it would. It would. It would be less. It but would, I don't know. Maybe they I think will it would there. it would no be idea. easier to shift one character into a different place than it would to shift like eight characters to a different place. Yeah, you know? I guess. But I'm saying that like, I it would think, just be easier plot wise. I think that they are going to the same place. I just don't think that they have the same mission when they get there, and so that's why I think it's interesting well, that Yang is on this side. This one and these two, which yeah, I want to get to Yeah, I wanted as well, to talk to you They about that. know what's going on. They know about the gods. These two are just walking in at the end of a shit show. Yeah, and so, to an extent, is Blake. Like, so she's been, been Blake, away yeah. even longer, necessarily, because Yang was... And that kind of makes sense with their positioning, too, because uh, you have... Let's say Crow and Oscar looking ahead. They understand what's going on. This, to me, implies they're going to do some training yeah. shit. Like, that, that, I feel like the most like, obvious his thing. His little smile where... here and then his little smile. Like, they're going to be training. And he's gripping Ozpin's yeah. cane like a dumbass. The, the most obvious thing here is they're going to be training buddies. Like, yes. I'm pretty sure that's pretty clear. And, it, and I'm you surprised know, that it took us fun. this long in the video to mention I mean, that. I was but... going upwards, so right. you know what I mean. And then Ruby's also looking straight ahead. She knows what's going on. I want to talk about the absence of juniper here which i appreciate <laughs> sorry it would be crowded i don't know but what do you want? um in the last poster there was uh juniper and ruby at the bottom and then there was yang blake and weiss all looking in the distance at the top if you remember the volume four poster and so their Let's absence bring it up here, quickly maybe <laughs> their abs bring it up you want me to bring it up sure okay. but continue talking uh, their absence uh here is interesting because that implies to me uh, that they're not going to be the center of attention this time, which, you know, like, that's okay. Um, so here you go. So you have uh, Juniper all the way down here, and then you have Cut, and then you have, uh, you know, you have them. I, like, think this that's, that's cool. I think that implies the separation that... You know, Ruby's off on her own with Juniper. Yeah, it definitely does. But I'm just saying that I don't think Juniper is going to be playing way, a different yeah. part because if, like, say, Jean was important... Maybe he would have been, like, Rrr. like he would have been bing, and he would have been bing. Because there still is room on Blake's side to add more people I'm if they sure wanted that to make her smaller. I just feel like they didn't want it to make it too cluttered. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying that if they were important, they would have swapped somebody out. Also, I think in the previous one, it sort of divvied up everyone. It was like, okay, we're separated. Like, you know, Ruby's down here with the rest of Juniper. They're going out, and then you saw on the top with Weiss, Blake, mm -hmm. and Yang. Oh, and I really want to talk about this, because yes, it's really interesting. Yes, I do. I, I don't know why you're wasting... Um, 
you're spending so much time in the un oh look look at the font how lovely font yeah now we're not going to know everything going on up here but look at those fonts Ooh, 2007 oh i wonder what that is is that a is that a is that a signature of the person who anyway oh, that's oh yeah great. that's actually interesting really is that really I no know, it's a signature I of the know, person who wrote know, made the I, I know but i want to know who made it anyways Christ. so there's also kind of the thing is is that everybody here is small and then blake is kind of like giant like she's bigger than everybody right here i don't know how so, much metaphorical residence you can I, find i, I think that. they I, are I, sure. I think they are gonna prioritize the white fang before mistral slightly like you know even how, slightly you know how earlier we did a video about neo yokio where we talked about how uh, don't don't worry about that how, about okay. no 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 how we talked about how the show was like a, a parody of the pretentious nature of certain celebrity I feel like this could be a parody of the pretentious I'm just saying, nature. Like, of, look how of big YouTube. Raven and Cinder are, and then look how big Blake is. Okay, like right, that—that's sure. kind of important. I don't I'm know. sure it's important. Anyways, Listen, okay, please. I'm, I'm taking like uh, in class. I'm doing text, sound, and then image media, and like how images are made and what they're meant to convey to people. So like, fuck off. That's all I'm trying to say. So anyway, we obviously we have Crow, and then we have Oscar here. So we have a buddy buddy sort of a uh, you know vibe. I'm taking with them. criminal law. You wouldn't want me as your lawyer. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> now right. let's talk about let's talk about Cinder That's and Raven. Manger, man. Holy crap! I know, but I had more to talk about. <laughs> oh, then please go crazy. Okay. Give us the cliff notes. All right, cliff notes. Blake doesn't dun, have her bow on. She's dun, probably not. Not gonna put it back great all right so uh yang looks really angry here somebody brought up a good point that people are gonna know her as the person that punched mercury mm -hmm. and mercury was from mistral i, I don't know like why you're saving all the really up. interesting points till now cal thank what do you, you. Mean? Because those were two interesting points. Uh, I don't know why you waited so long to bring them up. I don't know. I was just, I was getting to it, okay? Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what, in the, that regard. And then Weiss just kind of looks like Weiss. I have nothing really to say about that. Got her signature uh, off, White Wait, Tony. but she does have her shorter outfit on mm -hmm. now. I mean, she did Battle. switch to that. Yes. Like, she had that for most of the time, didn't she? Combat skirts. No, anyway. and, and she, they were longer when she was out of yeah. house. Yeah, and so now now it's short, and we're getting some ass. Like, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, all right, so let, let's actually move up right now. So you got Raven. Finally! You got okay. Raven, like, doing this shit in, you know, little eye, and then you have Cinder doing the same thing. So here's so, what this, this implies for me, anyway, is yeah. that Cinder is working with Adam, right? And so, if we do go back to the White Fang, Cinder is going to kind of be the main antagonist of Blake's story. This is why Blake is over here, right? Is that you kind of look on this side, and, like, she has her fire thing, there's rose petals floating there, but even, like, where she's looking, like, they're both kind of looking at us, but at the same time, I feel like with how, like, she's positioned, she is also kind of... Like, they're both looking towards Ruby and Crow in them, but at the same time, she's on Blake's side. And so I feel like that's who, like, that is kind of what they're going to be dealing with in White Fang territory. Because Adam's like, hey, listen, I did your shit, and now they're attacking me, so you're going to get your ass over here. And then Cinder's going to be like, okay, whatever. Like, I need to try out my powers anyway, because I've been, like, angsty for six months and I can't do anything. And so she's going to kind of come over there. And then I feel like the fire over here, that's kind of like the burning down of the white fang to an extent like okay the white fang so is i'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in a different direction about this if you're done um i was just gonna say that on both of their sides it's black i guess like it's you know darkness but then where ruby where ruby is i guess the tip of the scythe and then where all the girls are it's light and then it it kind of goes slowly into it slowly into goes into darkness because you kind of have you have your main hero who's always going to be in the light you have blake who's kind of seeping into the dark you have weiss is that mostly light and you have yang that's going in a weird gray area mm -hmm. crow and Oz, oscar like some people have made very good arguments for why Ozpin is a bad dude. And so I think that this is kind of where the gray area and then you have like real darkness, I guess, at the very top. So what I'd like to, to point out is um, I think it's interesting that they do not bring up Salem because Salem is the main villain, yet they're not the one to show. They're not going to show Salem. And I think part of the argument is that as Salem is like a... A villain of high fantasy isn't terribly interesting if she's just like a, a, a more like just a, a natural force of evil. Raven and Cinder are who they decide to show. I think that's very interesting how they frame them is that 
both of them, you only see half their face. Raven's being obscured by her mask, mm-hmm. Cinder being obscured by her hair. And I mean, she also has a mask, right? Yeah, but her mask thing doesn't appear to yeah, be on. Yeah, I know, but they both, mm-hmm. uh, what I'm saying is they're yeah. both masked. And, and But now said. they're sort of revealing themselves, and yet you're still partly hidden. And, and how that translates to me from an image to an yeah, idea is that, that they're too. like un... Well, you took a while. They're sort of revealing themselves, and I feel like there's still mystery, but they're reve- we're going to learn more about them. Yeah, and so... Like, the mystery is is going to be... Like, light will be put on that mystery. W- with that, I feel like since they are both mass characters and they're both being obstructed by that, because that's the only reason her hair is on that side, right? She doesn't mm-hmm. want people to see her mask. Meanwhile, Raven is kind of proud of her mask and shows that off, right? And so I feel like that's also a contrast, is that Cinder has not yet learned to, I guess be better than her circuit like to kind of get through it while raven has accepted who she is she is this kind of killing machine a part of this tribe and the people of this tribe wear the mask right and so i feel like uh that's kind of her like she likes to show off right that's why she didn't come with neo uh you know with her mask off like looking like a regular woman she came there with her mask on being like okay let's fight meanwhile cinder kind of wants to cover that because she's not confident in her abilities yet and i feel like that's kind of almost why they're opposites they're they're i don't want to say they're the same character but one is very confident in her abilities and her powers She doesn't and look meek. She literally has fire behind her. I That's mean, not something you do to meek people. She, but it's not really a big flame, right? She's still trying to get better, right? And we saw in the last episode that she that did she, recover yeah. like I think I think more. it has to do more about mystery and less to do yeah, about self-confidence. I, I, I think I think there's mystery too. Unveiling mystery. But I think it's also about like the power like the different the power struggles that Raven's having versus Cinder is that sure. Raven is very strong and they has both... accepted her she's kind of accepted that she is an anti-hero in a sense but cinder hasn't really accepted that she's the villain she's still kind of feeling sorry for herself well i think i think that they're both well you don't quite know their their intentions you know Not that cinder yet. wants power and you know that raven has a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, it keeps her on. priority to her clan that we still don't know a lot about and that's mystery and i think yeah. that they're gonna unveil that mystery and that's what i think that it's about and then I also think this is a polar opposite situation, right? Because as far as we know, like, Cinder is a maiden and then Raven obviously wants them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's collecting them, let's say. Because she knows where the spring maiden is. A lot of people think it's within her tribe and that's why she's important this season. Uh, because she was kind of, I don't want to say bargaining with Crow, but they what were talking Jenny? about it. What if Yang's the spring maiden? Okay, well, let's not get into that. Anyways. I don't think that's true. Because Yang. Yes, but, you know, this <laughs> clearly means that they are having self-confident issues. And look <laughs> at that font. Goodness I me. I never talked about the font. Did you okay. see that boob glisten? Anyways, okay. continue. The boob glisten was very important. Mm-hmm. Anyways, what I want to say with them is that I think that, you know, they are going to be at odds. Because the thing is, is that this is why I don't think any of the main girls will ever be maidens. They need to die like in a sense right are you sure about that i mean sort of like the, re- the i feel reason like you're why... in the business of making broad proclamations the now. reason why cinder is very tricky is because if she goes over to the good side salem's gonna have to kill her and give it to another girl that's willing but if salem goes to the bad side they're gonna have the good guys cinder not salem sorry no yeah if cinder stays on the bad guy side the boys and like them will have to kill her to get the powers to a good like a good soul let's say right and so that's why people kind of have this dilemma with cinder if they ever want the maiden powers to go back to somebody i guess good they're gonna have to kill her unless she converts and then salem's after her right you see the cycle that i'm getting at and so with the main girls it's very similar like it's a bit different but that's why I don't think they'll do it, because eventually they're going to have to die, right? Be- or else Why Salem- are they going to have to die? Because Salem wants to collect these, like, wants to kind of, you know, collect yeah. them all, right? And so, by the end of the series, if she kind or of... Or they could win and they don't die. I mean, what do you mean, though? Like, they defeat Salem before Salem kills them and take before away their Before Salem time. gets all, like, collect them all sort yeah. of thing? Well, that's a possibility. I don't, I don't think that's very interesting. I think that, like, I think all the schools are going to fall and all the maidens are going to get into her hands. Like, I, I think that's kind of the thing that they're going for right here. But, like, that's just me. Um, But that's kind of why I have tricky things with the girls being maidens is because, right. 
Like it gets it gets complicated. Please, and then I feel like if, you're going slightly off I topic know. here. With and this. if she was, wouldn't Crow know about that? Like, yeah, where totally. are you keeping the spring maiden? Oh, she was yang all along, I mean, right in front in, of my eyes. Hiding in plain sight, that might be able to. <laughs> you think Yang wouldn't know about that? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Like, we don't really oh, know man, how the her maiden eyes powers. Were glowing. We really don't know how the maiden power metastasizes in people. Listen, like, right? It's no, even Cinder. She gets it's all no glowing. more different you think than Yang would be like, hmm, I'm glowing. That's look, weird. Maybe look, I should tell look, my dad right. about that. Look, right? It's anime. Is. It's anime for Christ's sakes. Yang Robot <laughs> arms don't exist. Corgis <laughs> shooting through fire don't exist. We can go crazy. We can go off the books I don't a little. Wanna. No, but like... Have you noticed that the boy is carrying a cane with a soul in it? That's not bizarre. But a woman having secret powers hidden inside her. <laughs> no, that, that couldn't happen. Not once. But, but you... boy cane spirit thing, that's natural. Also, you think that Ozpin would have known that, right? Who knows? Maybe that could explain why Raven fucked off. Okay. I don't know. Just, it's, look, I'm not that serious, right? Just, you know. I know, but I'm saying. Don't be like, well, that's ridiculous. But of course, you know, human I mean, in a cane. It is a, like, what if she, like, j she just started glowing one day and, like, who died and thought of her? That's the thing. Because I somebody would have to die and think of Yang for the powers of transfer. No, not, so, yeah, Summer Rose? Yeah, but I then you know. get Summer being a maiden, and that, that's Maybe, complicated. Listen, right, I don't, <laughs> it's no more complicated than as I previously, just not the existing really. soul in a cane. Uh, the soul's not in the cane, though. It's in Oscar's head. We don't know what the cane's doing here, to be perfectly honest. Or the soul, honest. or like, okay, so, or like, it's not, is it really significantly more ridiculous than the idea of anything going on here? A little bit. All right, sure. Okay, whatever. No, I think you have selective <laughs> ear for ridiculousness. Not really. I, I No, whatever. fine. No, go. No, you're okay. right. I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. I know, I know Raven's a skinwalker okay. of Native American legend. You're all you're always right. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> Continue, please. We don't call them Native Americans anymore, but it's okay, Hunter. Uh anyways, so yeah, there's there Ra Raven's doing doing the Lord's work over they here. Call them that in America. Is. Continue, please. No, we're not American. I'm not like, saying the red man's coming for us. Like what the fuck? I don't know. Like because it wasn't just it, continue with the video. This is not related. It, was just, it wasn't just North Americans though. It was like people in China. Are you gonna call them Native Americans too? Like it doesn't make any sense. That's all I wanted to say. What are you talking about? Just could just please go. The Skinwalker legend. It's okay, not just sure. it's not just Native Americans. It's also like. Yo, cause, no, cause you're right, cause that's totally normal. Anyways, continue, mean? please. Continue. No, Cal, please, continue. <laughs> the video's long enough. Just I don't God. care, I just wanted oh to- Oh my God, Cal, no, this is not the hill to die on. Continue. <laughs> it might be. I just oh. mean that the myth was found in, like, a variety of cultures. You're right, it's in a, in a variety of cultures. Continue. <laughs> okay. You're always right. Continue. <laughs> but that's just factual. No, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. continue. You're right, you're right, you know. No, it's Chinese and, and also uh, Aboriginal. You're correct. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know yes. what you're saying. Anyways, uh, I love how that's what you focus on, and not the idea that she's a skinwalker, which is in itself a little ridiculous. Yeah. At least no more ridiculous yeah, than Yang really. being. Just do the rest of it. Why the do day. they turn into birds, Hunter? We still don't know. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's something that I also wanted to mention. I wonder if like, I wonder if that's that's gonna be like something that Crow has to eventually explain in this volume. That it's nowhere on, like, it's nowhere on the poster, but I think if we go back to volume four poster, there may be a crow on it. Well, you see, Cal, there's falling. maidens, but there's also four monsieurs of the seasons. And, 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 what? and crow is a monsieur of the season. He has his own powers, which allows him to turn into birds. Okay. That would mm. actually be kind of interesting. Oh, God, no, it would not. <laughs> it would be even more cluttered than it already is. I mean, crows represent fall, right? <laughs> Also, that's the other thing. So after summer, there is fall. And so going backwards, like looking at the Spring Maiden is interesting. And so I wonder what maiden they are chasing this volume. You know what I mean? I believe it will be the Mazura Fall. Now, please continue with the video. Cal. <laughs> okay. But this is part of the video, though. It's brand the poster. It's part of the video. That's discussion. fucking stupid. Now, continue with the. Unless you have no more to say, which in that case, you. Listen, Cal, <laughs> the video's over 10 minutes. You made the ad sense. <laughs> You got 15 cents from this. Okay. You're so mean. I don't understand. I just want to talk about my anime. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Well, I know. Then talk about your anime, not about, I don't I mean, know, whatever it, the it, hell you're it, talking about. It's still relevant. It's a discussion video, okay? Sometimes things get off topic. I, I, like the, I like the artwork. I'm a fan of it. 
I dig I it. You I said think you didn't like how they were drawn. I I think I think it's <laughs> weird. Up your mind. I feel it's weird, but just the art piece as a whole, I'm quite fond. I think I liked number four better when I just looked at it, but you know, okay, all good. I don't I don't really have anything to say now. You're kind of just crush my hopes, man. Well. You crush my Listen, ability right, to you, operate, you, to enjoy you, you, something. <laughs> you brought up, like, irrelevant things. So that's your problem. Now. I brought up... I just I just threw it in there as an idea, like a brief thing, and I was like, I'm already over it, and you were the one who, like, clatched on it, you know? Clatched? That's not a word. Latched that's, on to it. That's not a word, Hunter. You're going to fail your test tomorrow, whatever oh, your God test. Damn. Yeah, and f instead of studying, I'm here doing this. I know. Anyways, uh... Cinder has such a lovely ear, ear. Look at those earrings. Such lovely font. My god. Boobs. Glisten. Why I'm are you weird talking about the, about the font again? <laughs> oh my god. Gonna... Uh, also, though, Crow also has a peck line. So gender yeah, equality. It's gender a win, equality. It's a win for gender equality. Feminism. You know what? You know what, Kel? What? We can have arguments. But yeah. at the end of the day, as long as feminism wins... I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's all okay. Okay. Gender it's equality, fine. kids. Um, I kind of want to see, like, Oscar, like, or, uh, Crow falling in love with Oscar, like, his own son. Like, his own son, I said. Not romantically. Not romantically. That would just, be like, weird. Look and, at him. And... He kind of looks like, aw, son, you're, like, you're so, like, I love you. You know what I mean? Like, he looks like, it looks like a... Like, he, like, he becomes, like, a single father. I would yeah. like single father Crow. Exactly. I would like, really like single father listen, Crow. Listen, everybody wants Crow to be a dad. Like, he, can he be Oscar's dad? I don't want him to be Ruby's dad. I mean, he's my daddy. God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I feel like we had a handful of really good points in this, and then the rest is just faff and nonsense and, and that's yelling. That's okay. And this is basically, hey man, people this is are still like pay. every day. I don't, yeah, I don't God, understand. this is a great. I'm so glad this is a hobby of mine. What if like, like, the Yang trailer though makes this irrelevant? Also, when is that Yang trailer coming Probably out? Probably Monday. All right, cool. Because uh, randos are gonna see it on Friday. That went to mm -hmm. New York City Comic Con, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think. And then Monday was when it came out, like the Blake trailer, for example. So okay. I'm guessing, yeah, what if that video makes all of this irrelevant? Like, what are we going to do? Well, it would be no more irrelevant than <laughs> I feel it already is as we're filming it. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, we'll basically see y'all later. Bye-bye. I mean, I really am a fan of the font, oh like, unironically. I am going to kill you. <laughs>